Hello everyone, my name is Ernest and uh, I would like to take you through my simple library management system that you can also get. You can get this freely because I've put the link in description for you to download and uh, and run this simple system. But please support me by subscribing to my YouTube channel and make sure you're liking this video if it works for you. So I have this simple library management system and uh, you, when you download I can be able to direct you on how you can run it and the directing information is there in that folder so when I try to log in this is the username and the password is here the password is included in the folder you're going to download for this system so when I log in it takes me to my dashboard and it shows me old books new books users taken returned not yet returned and all books so for now we have zero data into the system so if you are going to use this uh, system it means you will be having to add books it can the books can be either new or old you have to add users the users who are going to use your library or your books then we shall be having taken returned and not yet returned this is where our system is emphasizing most so to add a new book you simply go to books it will take you to books for now we have no books so the table will be empty and it will say no data available in the table to simply add a new book you say add new and uh, let me say the book is called uh, mathematics by professor let me say by abc so how many books are in stock let me say i have two books of that same person and they are new books so I click on add when I click on add a success message will come up saying the book has been added so you say ok after saying ok you can see that the list of books is here so the more books you will be adding the more they will be appearing there let me say this book is called uh, uh, let me say philosophy philo uh, sorry for the spelling philosophy yes let me say that's the book philosophy philosophy one mm -hmm. quantity in stock let me say I have one uh, it is old so I say add when I add this book it will get added into the system and we have in a list like this so we can even delete the books from here you can refresh this section you can actually get this table as Excel you can get it as a PDF or print it so after adding new books we need to add users users are the people who are going to use our books or our library so every time we want to make sure every time a user comes and wants a book we select a book the user wants and the quantity they want and we make sure we mark it as returned or not returned so for that we shall have to go back to users but if I go back to my dashboard you can see that now books I have a total of two two books one new one old so I have zero users I go back to users when I go back to users I'll be having no user at all so let me add one user who will be using our library or who will be coming to pick the library let me say this is Sam Sam maybe is probably a teacher so I say add when I add Sam Sam goes into the list of my library users so here is Sam. I can even delete Sam. Let me try to add more users. Uh, let me say, okay, Sarah. I'll add Sarah. Sarah is just a user. So I'll say add. This system is simply based on crude operations. And I used PHP, JavaScript. Uh, and basically, you know, the web uh, languages and simple frameworks. Let me just add one more user into the system and this will be um, Ernest the user is called Ernest probably is a teacher I'll say add this system is important because it can help you track your books or maybe help you to, to monitor and see how many books are being used so if I scroll back to the dashboard you can see that now I have three users so to mark someone if maybe someone once a book, I'll say taken. I'll come to taken. Taken will be showing me I have a total of two books. Return this zero, not return this zero. So 
let me say I had I want to add new data let me say at this time like today at this very time the book called philosophy one and remember remember philosophy we had how many books I'll open this link in a new tab to see what quantity did I have you see here that it is trying to open philosophy I had one book so I'll go back to my tab and say remember I'm adding new philosophy quantity available was one and maybe it was taken by some so the quantity taken is one so I'll add and I say status is not returned after adding the status that it is not returned I'll be able to see it on the list that you undertaken you, s you can see that this section is active we undertaken we say some took this book and it is not yet returned so not returned you can see that it has a new book it has this a new record that it is not returned so guys this is how the system will be simply working if it is going to be benefiting you you can follow the link in my description below so as you can download and run this system onto your PC or maybe if you want to use it for your library you can use it if you want me to direct you on how to run it you can you can reach you can reach out to me and I can be able to give you that information or maybe you send me an email so if I go back to my library to just take me to my dashboard you have three users and I'm currently logged in as admin yes admin so when I log out uh, the sessions will get destroyed and I'll have to log in again so guys that's how it that's how it works if you like my video please give me a thumbs up and if you don't mind please subscribe to my youtube channel if you want to download the link is in the description from github